Hi everyone, it's Shay. We have a very special unbagging, unboxing to do today. These are two diamond paintings, and if you've ordered from this company before, you might recognize this sticker right here. This is from Dai Moon Shop, okay? And it's from the Philippines. And it just take a little bit of time to get these. They are made to order. But look at this beautiful wrapping, okay? It feels like Christmas to me. It's got the gold, the white, um, the red. It almost looks a little Asian to me at the same time. We lived in China, for those of you that don't know, lived in China for three years. And it just kind of has that vibe to me. So I'm loving it. Um, there are two paintings in here, like I said. I'm only going to be unboxing one painting today because the other one is a Christmas painting and I will do that during uh, Jingle Drills, one of the diamond painting community events that I'm co-hosting. But for tonight, we are going to be just unboxing one of them. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Now they do take a lot of care. You hate to rip this, you guys. It's just so pretty, oh my gosh. But I'm not one to keep, you know, wrapping. So I'm just gonna cut into it. That's interesting. It looked like a ribbon. It actually was, okay. So it was a red ribbon inside of black paper. That was really pretty. Okay, now for those of you that have um, opened or seen Diamond Shop unboxings before, they do wrap several layers. Say we have another layer of tissue paper. They layer and layer and layer. So I will probably do a time lapse so y'all don't have to sit through all the layers of unraveling. Um, I will tell you the, real quick, this is my third. Um, oh, that yellow is pretty. I don't know if it goes with the, the gold and red, but okay. I'm here. I'm here for it. And y'all, my husband calls me, my husband calls me the Wolverine. <laughs> which is funny because I do unboxings on YouTube. Um, I've been known to open cereal boxes, open all the things like very rough and very like wrong way. So if he saw this video, he would be laughing. Look at this, you guys, this is a nightmare. <laughs> this is the Wolverine in action right here. I don't think we're gonna time lapse that. That was pretty funny. All right, so that is the Wolverine in action. Well, let's just move that to the side. Oh my goodness, I made a huge mess. <laughs> One, I love Diamond Shop. Okay, like I said, this is my third time to order from them. It's a, officially my fourth time, but the third time there were some issues with the painting and I told them that I'm good and I'll pass because they gave us that option. So I've actually, this is my third receiving them. Um, but one of the things that I will tell you that I wish they would do differently and I wish they would put their paintings in a box because after you've opened it and you want to store it away, it's just by itself. It's not in any sort of, you know, I don't know. It's just not protected in a box and it's not easy to see like what you have. So that's just one of my, one of my issues, but that's minor. All right, let's see what we got here, you guys. That was pretty easy to get into. I thought I was going to time-lapse that. But the Wolverine has done it. Oh, look. Very pretty. That same wrapping paper once again. All right. Let's just snip that. A little snippy snip. So how are you guys? Are we doing okay out there? I hope so. I'm doing good. No complaints. No complaints. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause real quick. Lou needed me for something. So uh, this is the one I'm gonna unbox tonight. Like I said, the other one is a holiday painting. So we're gonna wait on that one. So I went ahead and just opened up everything that was inside and took that one out. So let's look at the one. Y'all, I have not ordered a Dye Moon Shop in so long. I forgot, I will tell you guys, I wish you could feel this, how soft the canvas is and how pliable, it's just like butter. It just like rolls right out. I mean, it. I wish I could explain it to you. It's not stiff at all. It's so floppy. It's just, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, you guys, look at this one. Look at this. Okay, so I did get a mermaid, okay? Can you see her, see her face right there? Her back, you know, her shoulder, her back. She's got some bubbles coming up. There's a fish here and a fish here. More bubbles, but you can see her beautiful red, kind of pink, ta orange tail coming up. Oh, I love her. Love her so much. I don't have a mermaid from this perspective, kind of looking back, having her tail like be the focal point. 
right here. So I had to get this one. They were also running a promo where um, the artist, this was 25% off, so I jumped on it. Um, okay, so let's start off with some of the details. So this is Bakushan by Holly Morningstar. It is licensed artwork. It's a round and it's 53 by 40 in centimeters and it has 38 colors. All right, so I thought this was a good size and what I really do like about Dye Moon Shop is they always have that nice little border around, kind of gives it that finished look. Hi there, this is Editing Shay. Um, after I unboxed the uh, Bakushan, I had a lot of questions about what that meant, so I did some research. And in, uh, in Japanese, it means uh, looks pretty from behind and not from the front necessarily. So I did some more research and uh, from Holly Morningstar, the artist, from her original artwork, she had a description and it says, uh, Bakushan is a piece that had been in my heart a long time before I got around to painting it. She said she grew up with a lot of mermaids as a teenager and she noticed a remarkable difference between mermaids like Ariel and those from traditional mythologies. Mermaids were capable of and often, often attributed to being creatures who lured sailors to the deaths and she wanted to paint that kind of mermaid. She, however, is more than a temptress. The title alludes to the Japanese term that describes a woman who is beautiful from behind, but not when she turns around. She isn't conventionally pretty, and no, she doesn't have to be. She doesn't owe beauty to anyone. And then she said the painting also features a beta fish or a Siamese fighting fish. Uh, they symbolize a defiant spirit and love of personal individuality and freedom. So I just wanted to add this in here. I thought it was really interesting. Um, I knew there was a reason why I was drawn to this, this mermaid, because she's different. And I, I knew that perspective looked different than I'm used to seeing. Um, and I, I guess, in fact, that that is bruising or, you know, um, something on her back, you know, that's like marks, because she's not perfection. And I really do like that. So I just wanted to add this in there. Um, so yeah, back to the video. Okay, bye. Beautiful. I didn't have to roll it backwards or anything. Y'all saw, I just like, it's just self-flattening. It's so nice. So I definitely think it's worth the money. I know they're a little bit higher price than some of the other diamond painting companies, but I think it's worth it. So let's go ahead and look at real quick before we get into the, the legend and the drills. Let's see what I got here. So here's my gift. It looks like it's some stickers. They always put fun stickers in their kits. Let's see what I got. Looks like a flower. That's cute. Oh my gosh, I love Beetlejuice. It's like they know. <gasps> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Y'all, I love Beetlejuice. And look at this guy on a skateboard. Very cool. But yeah, Beetlejuice is awesome. Love him. Oh, that was really cool. Thank y'all. Okay, I will put those in my little sticker book with all my other stickers. And here they kind of give you an idea of like where the AB should go, how to enhance your project. They give you like a dark light, kind of tells you where you should sprinkle them. So it's just some instructions on where to put the ABs, which is nice. That's fairly new. They didn't used to do that in my first kit that I ordered. Of course, it has your name. Sounds like the toolkit. Get this cute little brown paper bag. And I did peel off my name because it had my last name, which I need to start putting my YouTube channel name instead of my real name, um, as far as my last name is concerned. Wow, look at all that pink wax, you guys. <laughs> that's a lot, but I did order two paintings, so that's why I forgot, this is for two paintings. So we've got trays, we've got pink wax, more pink wax, It's a lot of wax, you guys. There's a lot in here, whoa. We got, so we got two pens per painting, okay? We've got two sets of tweezers. Got more pink wax. Oh, that's the same wax. Let's see, what kind of multi-placers do we have? These are the thin white ones. Yes, y'all, seven is my jam. Are these all sevens? Oh, this seven's kind of jacked up. Do y'all see that? Uh, maybe I can scrape that off. It's got like some extra, extra plastic hanging off of it. But these are all sevens. Yes, perfect. I have a, I have quite a few already, but I'll definitely take more. All right, so that's the toolkit. Comes with everything you need. I know some toolkits come with baggies, but they do not. But that's fine. I don't use the baggies anyways. All right, let's go ahead and uh, flip her over. Oh, I just want to touch this all day, every day, you guys. I really forgot how soft their canvases are. I don't know what they're made out of, but softness. Soft is one of the ingredients, for sure. All right, let's 
excuse the crinkle. I don't mind it, but some folks do. It's got a little bit of a smell to it. Oh, that's a big bag. Wow, look how much extra just from it being wrapped. All right. So here is our legend. It's got a picture of the thumbnail. So there's the original artwork. Very pretty. At first, when I first saw this, it looked like there was bruises on her shoulder, on her back. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's bubbles and maybe just a shadow from her tail. I hope it's not bruises. But All right, so 37 colors. It's got everything listed. It tells you how many bags of each color. It's got the DMC numbers. How many? Oh, take that back. 39 colors. Sorry, y'all. There's two more. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, feed this through my Xyron sticker maker. And if y'all aren't sure what that is or how to use it, I do have a video. I'll go ahead and link it down below on how to um, create labels for your storage containers using the, 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 the Xyron sticker maker. What did I get? Ooh, my least favorite ABs. <laughs> I got some 310s, y'all. That's okay, I'll take them. Yeah, I don't know about 310 ABs. They just, they're not black, as you can see from looking at them. They're an entirely, they give it an entirely different, you know, look and feel. So sometimes I'm real reluctant to use 310, but thank y'all. All right, so let's see, are these in order? Ooh, okay, so they are individually bagged and they're very well packaged. Look, y'all, look at this. How pretty is that? It's like they're spaced like exactly the same width apart. And 152, 154. Yeah, you guys, these are all in order. So if you work out of baggies, which is definitely an option, you don't need to kit up and use storage containers. If you work out of baggies, you're gonna love this. You can just slip these right out, pop them right into like a little dollar store, you know, little anything really, a little container and you're off and running. You can start diamond painting right away. I don't wanna take these all out of the bag because I don't really want to get them out of order and they look so pretty, you guys. But let's just take a look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Yes, we gotta look at these, I'm sorry. We just gotta do it. We gotta do it. I'm curious, I don't work out of baggies anyways. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just slide them out. Let's do it, All right, y'all? I can figure out how to put these back. I can do it. Plus, I wanna do an audit. Uh -huh, y'all, that, that wasn't very pretty. Um, keep this bag. If you do kit up and you use storage containers, just throw all your trash in here. I just kind of prop it open, throw all my trash in and just boop, put it away, you're done. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these. We've got 154, which is a really pretty purple. We'll do a little audit while we're at it. I'll let it, I'll set them all up. We've got 169, which is a gray. Oh, you know what? Sorry, y'all. 152 is first. Really pretty rose color. It's pretty pink. So that's first. Yeah, we'll just do a little audit. We've got 223, which is a really a, like a purple. It's like more of a mauve. It's really pretty. Another pink. I think that's going to be on her tail. We've got 304, which is a wine color to me, like a lighter wine color. Okay. Got a little bag of 310. That's not many at all. Okay, so maybe the highlights of the 310 they do have, we'll see where they go, but maybe they will work out because that's a really thin bag of 310s. Got 317, which is gray. 318, which is another shade of gray, a little bit lighter. Got 336, which is a navy blue. 347, which is a really pretty red. Got 350, which is kind of like an orangish pink, if I were to describe it, you know? It's kind of hard to describe. Almost cinnamon, I would say. 351 is more of an orangey color. That's gonna definitely be, I think, her tail, you guys. I see all these reds. We've got 413, which is a gray, dark gray. 414, which is another shade of gray. We've got 758, which is a light kind of peach color, dark peach, I should say. I need to come up with better descriptions of color names. We've got 779, which is, to me, it's like a purple. Purple brown. We've got 792, which is a really pretty, like electric blue. I like that color. 793, it's like a lighter blue, more of a, like a periwinkle almost. 
This one almost matches my nails. Nope, wrong blue. Okay, we've got 815 which is another wine color. Can y'all tell I like my wine? 816, another shade of red. We've got 823. It's a really, um, really pretty blue, like a navy blue. 900, pretty red. I don't think I've really seen a lot of 900. 902, which is a more of a purple. 939, we know that color. It's very close to 310, but it's more of a blue. It's really dark. God, these are great, y'all. These are like vacuum sealed almost. I don't see any static in them. We've got 950. I wonder if that's going to be some skin. Really pretty peach. 3024 is a really, really light gray. 3041 is a purple. 3042 is another shade of purple. Um, 3722, really pretty pink. A rose color. 3727. That's pretty. Another pretty pink. And oh, how did 550 get lost in the mix? So hey, for all you purple lovers out there, 550 is like the jam right there, y'all. I don't love purple, but I know the y'all that do. Yes. 550, where should you go? Right here. Okay, somehow you got lost in the shuffle. 3740, another purple. 3773, like a and brown and we've got 3778 like a peach orangey peach 3779 a really light pink almost done y'all 3799 it's a dark gray and 3858 the brown color and then 3861 is another brown kind of grayish brown okay there we go there you have it y'all there's all the colors okay so i definitely see lots of reds pinks purples um a lot of grays it's gonna be really pretty i like the size this may be a potential um contender for mermaids and magic the event that i'm hosting in march so we will see let's just make everybody uncomfortable by sliding these all out of order <laughs> i'll figure it out later i'll figure it out i want y'all to see the painting look at her she's beautiful sorry about the glare look at that fish wow that's really pretty you can see i like i see where the purple is right here his tail i'm really seeing a lot of purple right here so let's just take a quick look and see where those 310s go while we're here. 310 ABs, that's A. Okay, so let's bring it up. Yeah, we didn't even check the drill field. Yep, it looks really good, you all. I assumed it already would, but yeah, look how clear that looks. All right, so I do see some of those A symbols. I see, where did it go? I saw one. Again, there's not very many of them, but like I see one right there. See on top of my nail. Um, let me see if there's a patch of them anywhere. Where are those A's? They're like hiding from us. I saw one. It's gotta be more than one. Okay, so I see another, I see another here, right here. Sorry, huh? So is it just like onesies and twosies? Yeah, sure enough is. I'm just seeing ones and like, really just by themselves all right so maybe just maybe it's not a big clump of them i see some right here this is a a a so maybe they're those three tens may be okay we'll see oh this tail is beautiful you guys look at this tail oh i love that okay so i don't see i just kind of see them wherever you see a little bit of black right here so there's not a whole lot so i might use them Let's just check stickiness just to say we did. Yeah, super sticky, y'all. All right, I am very happy with this purchase. I'm really glad I got her. I've been wanting to get a mermaid for a while from Die Moon Shop, and I'm glad I got one. And like I said, they had that promotion, and I was like, okay, let's do this. Yep. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't subscribed, there's a subscribe button down below, notification bell right next to it. Click on both of those and you'll be all set with me and you'll be notified every time I post up a video. All right, you guys. All right, take care. I uh, love you and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.